Hey kids, Pub Steve here with a super cool item that I know you kids are just waiting for me to unbox. And that's the Benny and the Ink Machine construction set. Now this item isn't out just yet, but they decided to send us one early because we've been big, big fans of this thing ever since Toy Fair. And oh man, I just can't wait to open this thing up because if this box there is any indication, this is gonna be one incredible set to open. And check this out, there's 265 pieces, there's three minifigures inside, oh yes, this ink machine room is gonna be awesome. And of course it comes in a bunch of pieces, so we're gonna need this super cool instruction booklet to do just that. And this is pretty much what you'd expect to see in any of these construction sets on how to put this thing together. And of course once we do, voila! We have the base to our ink machine room. Oh man, this scene looks straight out of something from the video game. I mean it's got the yellowish color and everything. We've got the Boris posters in the background. We've got this thing over here where it says, who's laughing now? And over on this side, ha, we've got all kinds of ink stains. Ooh, bleh. Now one cool thing I like about this playset is all the walls in the background scene are put on with stickers. Yep, I said stickers. Because without them, they would just look like plain yellow. And we don't want that. We want it to look like the Benny and the Ink Machine game. So here we have it. But wait a minute, we can't have Bendy without the ink machine. Where's the ink machine at? And after building it, we have, ooh, cool, our Bendy ink machine right here. And this thing looks fantastic. We got the nodules on either side. We've got the ink spout right here. And look at that, there's a big old base so we can apply it to the playset and put down our ink machine. All right, now we're talking. That's one ink machine to be proud of. And with that, it looks like our playset's being one step closer to being complete. Now we just have this corner over here, which uh, I wonder what goes here. Maybe it's this stuff right here that goes with Boris the Wolf, which is the stretcher and two candlesticks. So let's go ahead and place these into the playset, like so. And we've got a candlestick over here and another candlestick on the other side. Aw, oh, yes, check that out. Yeah, this stretcher swivels back and forth. Boy, our ink machine room is looking awesome. Ha, and look at that doorway. That's the perfect size for old Puppet Steve. Ha, gotta love it. And of course, if we had other Bendy and the Ink Machine playsets, we could build them off the back here. But since we don't, ah, well, we'll just have to make do with what we have. But I'm sure all that stuff will come eventually. All right, with our playset complete, it's now time to check out the minifigures. Oh, yes. Let's see where those guys are. Ha, <laughs> ha. Oh cool, look how they come packaged. Oh neat, they come packaged all together in this little baggie here. Okay, well let's get out old Bendy so we can put him in our ink machine room. And just check out this really awesome minifigure. Wow, I gotta say, for being a little minifigure, this guy is highly detailed. And just look at that face. Oh, I love it. It's all glossy and he looks just like he does from the game. Ha! <laughs> and look at that, he also comes with a bow tie accessory. Oh, you gotta love that. Take off the head. And, <laughs> ah, we've got the little bow tie. I just love how they made that a separate accessory. Yeah, it looks great. And of course the minifigure looks great too. He's all black with uh, yellow hands. What a great looking figure. We'll just put him right here. Oh man, that's fantastic. But uh, look how tall he is compared to me. Ha, he's just a little bit taller. Right, Bendy? Yep, you said it. All right, let's check out another figure here. And the next one up, is old dead Boris. <laughs> oh, just check this guy out. Boy, he's another figure that's highly detailed. And boy, I just love that sculpt that they gave his face. He's got the tall ears, the X's on the eyes, and his side mouth, and even his snout. Looks just like it does from the video game. And if we look at his chest, we see it's exposed where the uh, wrench is supposed to go. Yep, what a solid looking figure that looks just like it does from the video game. Now all we have to do is put Boris in the stretcher here and lean it back. Oh, I gotta love that. Whoa, that's a scene right out of the video game. All we need is a wrench to stick out of him. <laughs> yep, that could be arranged. <laughs> all right, the last figure we get is that creepy ink demon. Or the ink bendy is what they call him. <laughs> and look at that. He looks just like Bendy, but with ink on his face. Oh, neato. Now this doesn't come with a bow tie accessory. Instead, they printed the bow tie right onto the minifigure itself. Now we all know that the ink bendy is supposed to stand a lot taller than the regular bendy himself. And when it comes to these minifigures, well, they made the legs just a little bit taller 
so they can retain that same aspect ratio of the tallness factor. Boy, don't these figures look great? Put all these guys together, oh man, we've got quite the roundup of figures to look at. The one thing I love about these figures is how shiny they are. I mean, just look at that baby shine. <laughs> I can even see my reflection in there. Hey guys, what's going on? Oh, but you gotta love this because the Ink Demon also comes with an ink accessory. <laughs> oh, look at that. It's even got a little Lego brick. So when he's walking away, he can leave ink behind. Ooh, gross. Looks like we're gonna need a janitor. Once we put all these figures in our ink machine room, oh yes, we can start acting out scenes from the game. Oh, sweet. Now, I know I've said this before, but I'll say it again. I just love that yellowish color that they gave all the pieces in this set because it makes this set looks like it actually did come right out of the video game. And of course, if we turn out the lights and adjust the lighting, we can really make this look like it does in the game. Oh, gotta love that. But uh, wait a minute, where'd the ink demon go? Uh, ink bendy? Ink bendy? Oh man, where'd that thing go? Oh, doggone it. Uh, I just know that thing's gonna try popping out at me. Oh, there he is. Uh, where'd he go now? Oh, there's the ink demon. Get back here. Where'd you go? Oh, Doc Gun, you're creeping me out, man. Uh, all right, game's over. So we turn the lights back on so we can. Oh my gosh! Ah, there he is! <laughs> oh man, this thing is creepy! Ah! Boy, I just love this playset because it looks fantastic. And you get three figures, each one, which are top notch. Plus, you get accessories here, like that ink blob and even the ink machine. Yeah, which is kind of like a character in and of itself. And if you're wondering just exactly how big these figures are, well, they're just a little bit bigger than a Lego figure, but a little bit smaller than a Five Nights at Freddy's character. So, yep, fits right in the middle there, which makes this super cool. Hey, Bendy, do us a favor and stay out of our playsets. <laughs> Fine, you stay out of our playsets. Fellas, fellas, can we get along? Oh, just go away, you. Yeah, stay out of our fight. Oh, brother. Now you're probably wondering how this set compares to the Five Nights at Freddy sets made by McFarlane Toys. And I do plan on doing a video about that in the future, but I'll just say that, well, it's a little bit smaller than the stage show set, but just a little bit bigger than the medium size sets that McFarlane Toys releases all the time. So, yep, it's a pretty good size for the money. But like I said, I'll compare more in detail in a future video. Now this ink machine room playset here is the biggest playset they're releasing this summer. And if you ask me, they did a great job on this one. Yep, and the box is just equally as cool. <laughs> here it is, Fat Mojo and Meatly Games teaming up for this cool item. Now if you want even more playsets, well, they've got these micro sets here, which we'll open up in a later episode. And of course, there's gonna be six of these with each coming with their own unique figure. And in these sets, we're getting a duplicate figure of Bendy and a duplicate figure of the Ink Demon. So if you wanna get a dead Boris, the only way you're gonna get them is through the playset. Now the other figures you can get with the micro sets is that ink blob called the Searcher, Sammy Lawrence, a regular figure of Boris the Wolf, and of course my favorite, Alice Angel. And she looks oh so cute. And of course that brings us to a total of seven unique figures to collect in all. Expect these to be released in the late summer, early fall time frame. And if you want even more figures that aren't listed here, well check this out, because on the box, it says this is only series one. So expect a series two, which will be released, well, in a few more months, I guess. And let's just hope they'll make more environments in the future, because I would love to build off this doorway here to make even more scenes from the video game that extend off this environment here. Yeah, <laughs> that would be super cool. Hopefully we can start building the whole map of the Bendy game. All right, kids, well, there it is. The super cool Bendy and the Ink Machine playset, which isn't out just yet, but we'll be releasing in the next couple of weeks here. And make sure you subscribe to this channel because in the next couple of days, we plan on opening up all the super cool micro sets. Oh yeah, we've got three of them. We've got the Boris the Wolf set, the Searcher set, and the Sammy set, which leaves only three left. And I'm told that they're on their way. So, yep, we're gonna be opening up all of them in the next week or two. So you have to subscribe because this is a Puppet Steve channel and we're super awesome. 
Oh yeah!